I'd like to try my hand at the new Security Analyst Level 1 certification from TryHackMe, the defensive certification that gets you hired. It is a new blue team or defensive-based cybersecurity certification from TryHackMe. It includes a simulated security operation center and environment with their SOC simulator. And honestly, it's just awesome to see some love for the defenders of our industry, the folks that take the time to protect and secure, really, the cybersecurity landscape, industry, and the whole community. So if we were getting certified, we would complete a little bit of training. There are a couple paths, lessons, modules, and rooms in TryHackMe that'll help you get started in learning all the basics fundamentals here. Then we can start the exam. It is something that includes multiple choice questions. There is, of course, still a practical hands-on component, but the very beginning is multiple choice. Scrolling down to the very bottom, I think there is a little bit more detail here as to uh, the info. 24 hour exam, at least you have 24 hours to complete the exam. Realistically, it should take you much less. It does include a free retake and I'm thinking, well, it is a level one or more fundamentals and foundational course, a certification. I think I'm gonna try it, going in cold. We could learn a little bit more though in the FAQs or frequently asked questions, learning about the exam process. The exam consists of three sections, 80 multiple choice questions with a one hour time limit, a SOC simulator scenario with a two hour time limit, and then a second SOC simulator scenario, again, with a two hour time limit. So realistically, it's five hours worth of work, but you have 24 hours once the clock starts to make sure you complete and finish the whole thing. You do have to work in that order, first multiple choice questions, then the SOC simulator scenarios, and uh, really a little bit more detail here if you're interested, the prerequisites aren't a lot. In fact, there are no formal prerequisites. You don't need any other prior education, insight info, certification, or work experience. But it is something that will still get you some skills for being a security analyst. So I think that's enough background context. I'm ready to do it. Let's get started. Stand out and become job ready with a practical defensive certification. All right, a little bit more insight here on that landing page, but look, I think we can just press the go button. There's a lot of sweet stuff this dives into. Tradecraft, tools and utilities, a lot of tracking of threat actors, adversaries, malware, incidents, and just being able to respond and act as an operator in the security operations center and as an analyst. So let's click start exam. Okay, before starting the exam, we'll guide you through a quick check-in process. To ensure a successful exam experience, please read all the instructions carefully. 24 hours, valid ID ready. Make sure you're connected to a stable internet connection. Please use a desktop computer. All right, let's do it. Oh, we have a whole like sweet verify your identity thing that already has my name here. Let me fill out the uh, ID verification. Okay, successfully validated your ID. Let's keep cruising. Big exam guidelines agreement. Yep, yep, yep. I will not be a bad person. Accept and continue. Oh, and there's a video. Little exam introduction video. Please watch to familiarize yourself with important information and instructions for the exam. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Welcome to the Security Analyst Level 1 exam. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know before starting your exam. We'll start with the recommended preparation. I'm digging the voiceover. the exam <laughs> formats, you'll need to use both the Analyst VN and the SIEM for your investigations. And most importantly, did you see that? Make sure you refer to the document. Yo, hang on, hang on. You'll work in a real-time virtual sock environment. Start hovering over links over there? Forward, you'll be triaging and like the staging like domain? <laughs> you'll need to use both the analyst VN and yeah, yeah, the yeah. for your investigations. Yeah. <laughs> and most importantly, now that you know what to expect, are you ready for the Sawan exam? I'm ready. If so, good luck from the I'm entire ready. team. I'm going to click go right now. Start exam. Security Analyst Fundamentals. Get ready to begin. You have one hour to complete this section. The timer will keep running if you leave the exam. Keep an eye on the timer at the top right of the screen to ensure you can answer all questions. Please use a desktop computer. Let's do it. Keeping us cruising. Complete section. You've completed it. Feel free to take a short break before continuing the next section. Remember to manage your time to ensure you complete all sections in the remaining time. Well... We can move on to the next section in just a moment, but I will probably take a quick pause. 
actually, let me do kind of a quick retrospective while it is still fresh in my mind after now just completing the 80 multiple choice questions for the Try Hack Me Security Analyst Level 1 certification. Look, I think they gave in the instructions a little bit in the description there that you do have to read the question carefully because there is only one correct answer that is the most correct, while there may be a couple others that seem semi-correct or very well could be a fine answer, but just not the best answer. So absolutely be sure to double check, triple check, especially the word choice in any of the given answers that you could select and the challenge prompt, right? I don't know, likening to my capture the flag upbringing, really you just have to be super duper observant with what the question is and all the details they give you. And with that, really, you just kind of have to know the lingo the terminology, the vernacular of cybersecurity and security operations and security analysis. Make sure you know a lot of the protocols. Make sure you know what the different acronyms are and what each of these solutions could very well mean or refer to. That first section is all just multiple choice. So while it's possible, you could reason it out and do some process of elimination, deductive reasoning, really use logic to make sense of things. But if you give yourself that extra background context, a little bit more of the intuition, of course, with your studies and learning, then you're in the clear. All right, now let's dig into the next section with the SOC or Security Operations Center simulator. You have two hours to complete this section, finishes once you've responded to all true positive alerts, the timer will keep running, keep an eye on the timer and use a desktop computer. Let's do it. Okay, I have now just submitted the last case, uh, an alert, and we're done with that part. Now that being part two, um, look, I think they had two hours for this, right? You had you were given two hours to be able to complete that section. Now that I have finished it up, I think uh, the couple takeaways that I have are, my goodness, you absolutely a thousand percent need to read the instructions. You need to read the documentation. You need to read all of the info that they give you because you'll use that to cross-reference what you're seeing come through the alert queue. And it gets a little bit nuanced with what's happening for legitimate traffic and what's happening for illegitimate traffic. Uh, things that you just kind of need to keep in mind and determine based off the information they've given you, this is or isn't good, bad, or ugly. That's my best advice, is really, really pay attention uh, once again to all the context that's provided. And I actually, a little bit more tactical, hey, try to, keep your case reports accessible to you in another file or some like text editor that you could go back and reference and kind of tweak and tune later on. And that way you use this build out of the storyline or what you see actually happening and underway in the environment. And then make sure you have it sort of templatized for yourself to include all the tactical details. You wanna make sure you've got the host name. You wanna make sure you've got the IP address, make sure you've got the user, make sure you've got all the details and as much technical information to make this true and to the point of, at this time, I saw this happen with as much detail as possible. With all that said, I basically took the whole two hours. I think I had just about 10 minutes left, but I was trying to double check, triple check, make sure I had everything with as much info as I could and making sure I've got the nuance and what's a little bit subjective between uh, am I interpreting this correctly as legitimate traffic, legitimate activity, or bad, malicious, irregular, and anomalous activity. With all that said, let's dive into the final section. Okay, we did it. That is now the last thing submitted for scenario three, or section three, scenario two for the SOC simulator. But hey, super quick review of that last section while it is still fresh in my mind. And this was the third, the final segment of the security analyst level one certification exam. And look, I feel like because I just finished up the SOC simulator in part two, and I had done that work already, I felt like I got a little bit of the groove. I understood, I could determine, oh, there's a scenario, and I feel like I was spending some time just kind of waiting for the alerts to come through. And I think that's something that's very important for this exam. While you're given a 24 hour window, while they only have a one hour chunk, a two hour chunk, and then another two hour chunk, the 
that time window, that bounding limit and start and end time is very important because for the Sock Simulator segment, it is on a queue, like a track playing as to when alerts funnel through to your dashboard. What that means is you might be done with some stuff in the first 45 minutes, but it might take another 45 minutes or so for more alerts to come through while you're still waiting for signals and things to analyze. That means you can't exactly walk away. That means you can't say, hey, I'm done, I finished early. You have to play out the scene. That's not a bad thing. I think that's awesome. That is real world. That is literally genuinely what a security operations center analyst may very well be doing. I don't know, trying to triage, but still waiting for stuff to dig into. And it is the case where you tend to see scenarios unravel and develop as you're going through them. So you will need to update or maybe go back and change what could have very well been something that you didn't think was an issue previously, but now might be. You still gotta be able to go back and have greater context now that you've seen the rest of things unfold. All done and uh, can chat about a little bit, but I want to see our results. Did I pass the security analyst level one exam? Absolutely, you're going to recommend this to a, a friends, colleagues, family. I don't know about family, but look, this was genuinely a lot of fun. So I hope that I got a good grade here. I'll click view results and I did it. Congratulations, you passed the SAL1 exam. We're thrilled you earned the TriHackMe SAL1 certification. Celebrate your achievement and share the news with your network. Well, I don't think I particularly passed with flying colors. Whoa, I, is that because uh, I can't talk about the exam? I can't talk about the exam. <laughs> At least the other two I passed with flying colors and then it was just underneath the pass mark in the other. Wait, that means that I like barely passed. I got an 809 and I needed 750? I think there is a lot of nuance as to what you identify and say this definitively is bad or this could be bad. And I'm curious if that kind of got me uh, wrapped around the axle and stuck in the weeds for some of the other portions. Let me see my cool certificate though. Heck yeah. Open image and new tab. Nice. I did it. I am at least a uh, level one analyst. <laughs> Real talk though, let me say genuinely, this was fun. Like I enjoyed, hey, seeing the scenario develop, knowing this absolutely mimics the real world. This is what security operations center analysts and security analysts are seeing day in and day out. Sometimes there's a lot of noise. Sometimes there's a lot of fluff. Sometimes there's stuff you gotta cut through and there's a balance between true positive findings, anomalous and malicious stuff that needs to be investigated, further triaged and communicated, and there are false positives. Hey, those tend to run amok, right? Whether it's alert fatigue or not, sometimes there can still be detectors that need tuning, some policies and things that just, oh, have to walk through between how the company and the business likes to do things. It's just genuinely, actually pretty real world. So that's awesome. Big kudos, two thumbs up to try hack me for that. So look, if you're interested in a role in cybersecurity defense for your career, or even if you already have a career in cybersecurity and security analysis, look, it's something that you can kind of still test your skills with, but it's a fantastic foundation to really prove your own merit and competency across your own understanding, the lingo, the terminology, just understanding the conversations that have to be had, talk the talk, right? And then the practical hands-on application in the software simulator when you can walk the walk just as well. So try it out. Kick the tires with the TriHackMe Security Analyst Level 1 certification with the link below in the video description. Needless to say, big thanks to TriHackMe for sponsoring this video, but I really hope you enjoy and I really hope you see the value in great work like this. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you do all those YouTube algorithm things, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.